Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're chilling with Latina, chills with Latina. I know it's been a quick minute. We have not, um, I have not, not we, I have not been uh, really up to date with my YouTube channel guys lately. I've been so busy, you know, work life, family life, all of those things get in the way sometimes. And so YouTube is not really my priority at the moment in, in the sense where my own channel like because I've got other things going on so anyways guys I'm back with another one as you all know I've previously done some cooking uh, vlogs on my channel and to be honest with you I have had a ball giving you some content on cooking and I'm sure a lot of you have also um, enjoyed my cooking channels so today as you can see, I've got my apron on, my hands are washed, I'm ready to cook again for you guys and show you what I'm going to make. Now, I'm going to tell you what I'm making, which is, it's a little bit of my own sort of twang to it. Um, a lot of people usually cook this with rice and tuna, and but for me, I'm going to cook it with mincemeat and rice, and it's called uh, pimiento relleno, that's what we call it, and so all it is, is basically a pepper all right so this pep uh, well a sweet pepper people would know this is a sweet pepper we call this capsicum right so for all my Jamaicans or Caribbean friends out there this is capsicum to us and probably a sweet pepper for you guys so um, I'm going to fill these up that's my aim my aim is to get a whole nice big hole into this Fill it up with the rice and the mincemeat and the beautiful sauce that goes with it and then top it off. Anyways guys, let's get into it. Let's not jargon anymore and talk, talk, talk. Even though I will talk to you and you'll probably see Island come and go. You may see Babe come and go because they are here. <laughs> so um, yeah guys, let's go. Let's do this. So first and foremost is your main, your main thing which would be your onion, your garlic, um, and your onion, your garlic, and your spices. You know, everything needs to get marinated and needs to be well prepared before you cook it. So, you know, sometimes I forget to marinate, like to marinate my, my meat or my rice or whatever it may be, but everything still gets marinated well while you're cooking it anyhow. That's how we do it. Um, I know other people have, you know, their own sort of way of marinating everything before they put it on the stove or whatever it may be. Other people marinate as they go cooking, like especially with the red sauces and things. So, another thing I wanted to say before I continue my cooking is um, I did manage to cook uh, the African an African dish, which I will I will do that in my next um, in my next show when I get the chance to do another cooking show I will definitely do it for you guys because I know a lot of people would like to learn and hey you know we all throw in our little bits and pieces at the end of the day so however you want to make it it's the way you want you you want it basically all right so let's go all right guys so first of all foremost like I said onions everything to the side And for all those that know, I did have falsy nails on before, but I kind of took them off. It's just because I just can't cook and clean and do all those things with the nails. And I love having nails, don't get me wrong. It looks really pretty and like, you know, classy and whatnot. But at the same time, if I'm cooking and changing baby's diapers and, you know, um, just general my work in itself, you know, it's pretty hands on. So, um, yeah, I just thought, you know what, I won't get it. If I do get them, it'll probably be for a wedding, a birthday, you know, something special occasion, holidays. <laughs> yeah. So, this is pimiento relleno, rellenado, which is, means um, cap capsicum or sweet pepper uh, filled. I learned this from my mother um, she used to make it a lot more or less in special occasions all 
and you get two garlics guys so one onion two garlics in this case I'm going to use three garlics because it's winter and garlic is good for colds and flus and all that sort of thing and as you all know I'm down here and I start to get a little bit teary because the garlic my eyes are going to be red But any, and nevertheless, those who do have nails and can cook and clean and change diapers and all of that, big up to you because I honestly, I find it's a struggle. <laughs> Maybe because I'm not used to them. So yeah, just throw all my tr trashy stuff in the bin, put everything in a bowl. Now if you're vegetarian or you know, you don't eat meat, um, you can, um, you know, just do it with uh, veg vegetables. This will also work with vegetables quite well. Um, you know, it is definitely a, a dish for all. If you're a pescatarian, same thing, you can just use fish, um, cuts it, cut it up in like very fine pieces so it can fit inside your um, pimiento inside your pimiento, um, your capsicum, your sweet pepper. Yes, Island. And we've got Island here, guys. Hang on, my hands, hang on. Let me let me wash my hands before I pick you up. Look, hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. Okay. Island, can you get mommy a carrot? Do you know what a carrot is, Island? A carrot. A carrot from the fridge. Get mommy a carrot. Can you get mummy carrot? Let's see if you can get me a carrot, guys. You can be my little hands-on helper. Get mummy a carrot. Ta, mummy. Don't eat it. Mummy, go cook with it now. I'm gonna wash it and cook with it. Thank you, Island. All right, go, Papa. Go, Dada, now. Why you not go, Dada? Huh? Why? Island. Island boy. Okay, so he's probably going to grab a chair now, guys. Watch this. Look how much he's learned. Oh, I forgot to put my vase on the table. I put a tablecloth on the table, but I forgot to put the vase on there, guys. Okay. Looks better. Yep. That's Island boy. Come on, man. Anyways, the weather's pretty crappy out there today, guys. It's not looking good at all. Yeah. So as I was saying before, guys, you can make this dish um, with meat, with fish, vegetarian, you know, just dice up everything, you know, make sure that everything's in cubes, however you like it. Then cook it with your rice and whatnot. And then you can just stuff your, stuff it in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a big enough hole for my rice and everything to go inside here. All right. And so what happens after I've, I've cooked everything prior to stuffing it in here, let it cool down a little bit so that my pimiento, my pepper, my capsicum does not get um, too soft because what you want it to do is once it's all cooked and everything's inside, you put cheese on top of here and then you put it in the oven. And so then in the oven, you'll bake it for about, you know, a good 30 to 40 minutes. Um, I'll say 30 minutes, depending on your oven, how good it is. So yeah, so that's what you do. And um, then after that, it's voila, it's what it is. You can eat it and enjoy with a nice salad on the side and and that so um, today I'm going to make an avocado and a boccaccini salad so it's just a very simple salad um, with a bit of cheese and a little bit of um, you know avocado uh, which my Caribbean people may know it as pear so which is a nice ripe one here so that's what I'm going to do on the side with this dish now 
Um, if you're a big eater, you might want to eat two of these. Um, me, one's enough for me, maybe two for babe, and you know, one for Ireland. Ireland probably won't eat a whole one, but because um, it's quite filling. Um, and if you do have leftover mince and rice and whatever else, you can make a sauce for it tomorrow, like you could have a pasta or something. So, yeah, it all works out. This kind of this kind of dishes. And there's Alan again. He's trying to he's trying to get his way in here to kind of distract me from doing what I have to do. So the best thing is to do, guys, and a small knife or you know. Just a, a, you don't want to you don't want to pierce the the pepper too much because then otherwise you know you're not going you're going to make it too big and yeah it's not gonna be good but yeah this is just the way you do it nice big little hole you can twist it around usually when you twist it it usually comes out there you go now I'll be washing inside get all the seeds out. And I'll be cutting the little white bits that you see in there. And the reason why I do that is because um, the white bits are quite bitter and you don't really want that in your dish. So definitely wash the pepper, um, the capsicum, wash everything, take everything off, okay? Um, and you're ready to go, basically. You're ready to stuff it once everything's cooked. And I just found, I remember as a little girl, uh, my mum used to say, um, if you find a little pep, if you find a little baby pimiento in a big pimiento, it means a baby's on the way. But that's just, you know, it's just a tail, I guess. It's really, you know, not a baby on the way. <laughs> it's just a thing we say. But yeah, anyways, we can use that too. That that's there's nothing wrong with using that. So we can just chop that up and throw it in when we're frying our meat and garlic and and onion and things. So yeah. So I'll go ahead and keep continue chopping this up. So I'm gonna chop this up. Now, these peppers at the moment, um, at the shops, they're about $13.90 a kilo. So I don't know what it's like around the world right now, how much your, your peppers are, or your, your sweet peppers are over there, but this here is $13.90 a kilo, guys. So, they're not cheap at all. Oh my gosh, this one does not want to come out. Sometimes you'll find that it gets a bit of a struggle to get them out. But just got to watch what Ireland's doing because he's manoeuvring that chair so good. So what I've done, guys, is I've put all the um, leftover cap uh, capsicum seeds in here because I'm gonna, I'm planning to plant them. So yeah. What I do is I just give them a good wash because we don't know who's been touching these. You know, at the store, and I just pull the white bits off if they're easy to pull off, otherwise, I'll grab a knife. Clean all the seeds out so they should look like that inside, guys. Okay, absolutely no white bits in there. So I've just chopped up the little bits of capsicum, which is going to go in my little frying as well. Okay, and then I'm going to um, peel my carrot, and then I'm going to, I've washed the carrot already guys, just going to peel it, and then I'm going to grate and get rid of that, I'm not going to use any of that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate the carrot, and that also is going to go in my fry. It doesn't need to go in the fry, but it just gives it a little crunchy taste. But also, with, uh, when I throw my sauce in there, my red sauce in there, I usually do that with mm, a lot of my red sauces. Just grate a carrot and put it in there. Um, and it just, I feel like it gives it a flavor and a taste as well. Like, a, how do you call it? Just gives it a different, it gives it more color, more than anything else. but. Just gives the sauce a bit more colour, which I'll show you anyway as we go. Yeah, I, lo I usually like to keep my space clean. I think everyone, when they cook, they usually tend to do that. I don't know many people that don't. I've got my peppers already. Another another little trick. Oh, that one's split a little bit. Okay, another little trick I just wanted to mention as well is 
when you buy your peppers, um, your sweet capsicums, make sure you you have the ones that actually stand up because if you get ones that like fall over, they won't stand and they'll cook more on one side. Um, so yeah, you just want to make sure that they're kind of that standing position. Now I've got my frying um, stuff here. I've got my mints here, which is regular mints. I thought it was lean mints, but anyway, it's all good. I'll drain the fat out of that. And uh, I've got my little tomato paste that I use. It says Italian here. Look, it doesn't matter what you get. This one better not have any ingredients in it. I hope not. No, it doesn't. So yeah, so tomato paste that will go in, not now, very soon when the minces and everything's cooked, okay? So let's get this frying underway. Babe was, babe was cooking fritters this morning, guys, so. So I was saying babe the other day, I said to babe, I need new pots. And he said, yeah, I think you do too. So we're going to buy some pots eventually. Right now, we're just dealing with what we have here. So this is the pot we're using today. All right, we'll just wait for it to heat up. It's an electric oven, guys, so things will take some time. And here, things will take a bit of time in an electric oven. It sort of slows down the process a bit, I guess. You know, it's a fairly new oven, actually, but yeah, it's electric. I prefer gas, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, and yeah. Hmm. I was just thinking, I might to do some scrubbing on my oven. Yeah, gonna have to eventually. It's not gonna be not dirty, just a little bit like oily. So just give it a good clean. What's that been done? So one thing guys is mama always said when cooking use olive oil. Olive oil is probably the most healthiest oil you'd ever get. Obviously coconut oil is second, but olive oil for cooking for us is what we use. So olive oil guys. I'm gonna put some oil in here. Not too much, probably two tablespoons. So what I do is I'll throw in my meat first thing. So before I throw in my meat, I'm gonna marinate it. So I'm gonna put everything in there that needs. So just a, I'd say about two pinches of salt, okay. Okay guys, um, <clears throat> all purpose spicy blend, just to give it a bit of a spice kick on the meat. Um, okay, I also, um, paprika, paprika ground guys, which is basically um, made from pimento as well, but um, just a little bit. Nice. Oh shoot, that was a little bit too much. That went in really bad. Okay, and then um, that's all for my spices right now. So what I do, my hands are clean. As you can see, I just had salt on them, and I just go in and stir and marinate. Okay. Like I said, this isn't, you know, um, particularly uh, the way you have to make it. You can throw anything you want in there. If you wanted to put curry and make it curry, you can. If you wanted to, you know, um, anything, basically, you can just do it any way you like. It's just, it's just the way I like to make it. And yeah. So nice and mix, mix it all in. Got to make sure that that paprika and everything's nicely mixed in the bowl. Okay, a little bit fell out there, but it's not going to hurt. All right, guys. So just marinate. Don't need to let it sit for long or anything like that. So it's all good. Now my oil's nice and hot, so I'm going to go ahead in and throw my meat. Wanting things to get a little bit 
oldish. Alright guys, so yep, just make sure that the meat is cooking very nicely. And you know it's gonna take a couple of minutes, but I'll show you all in the intervals how we go. So guys, sorry, I just went a bit over my head. I'll just turn that off. Um, so uh, once the meat is a little, is you know brownish enough, then you go ahead and add your garlic and your onion and also your um, your carrots and then everything sort of gets cooked together and fried in together as it should and then you add your rice, um, your sauce and your cup of uh, water obviously because the rice will dry up in the pot okay guys so that's how we do it stay tuned we're getting there and I have this little boy here causing havoc island island hot it's hot. What are you doing? Sit. Hey? Mm. Island? Island. What are you doing? Mm. Mummy does not sound happy, does she? Does she? Island boy. Island boy. Excuse me. What are you doing? Mm. Why did you throw your chocolate in there? Look. He's only allowed a little bit of this and he's gone and thrown it in the sink. Island, that's not nice. That's not nice. Get it out. Get it out. Island. Hey. I'm very upset with you, Island boy. Very upset with you. Pick it up. Give it to mummy. That's enough. So ladies and gents this is what it should look like right so we've got the oil reducing right down to the bottom and um, after this now the rice I've just got to wash the rice and I'll add my rice before that oil actually drains out because we still have a lot of flavor in that oil as well that we want to use and for the rice as well so we'll use that and then we can add our sauce on top okay I've used um, two cups of rice, that's a, about a, the cup that I use, and um, I've used basmati rice, it's a bit, it's better than jasmine rice in a sense, it's a little bit more healthier, but basmati also gives it a different aroma, or a different taste, smell, and yeah, that's what I'm going to use, alright guys? Yeah, just wash your rice guys, make sure that it's nicely washed. Some people wash their rice, some people don't, but me, I like to wash it because um, I came across, I came across a couple of um, years ago, I was cooking rice and I found like a worm looking thing in it, so I, um, yeah, got freaked out and I was, from then on I washed my rice like three times. So guys, my battery is about to die. Alright guys, sorry, my battery died on the other camera so I had to switch. Um, so what I've done is I've, once I've um, washed the rice, I've... Um, oh, the lens is getting foggy. <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, once I've washed the rice, I pop it in here and just fry it in a little bit before I put in my water and then the rest of the sauce and everything else that needs to go in it, okay? So stay tuned. All I've done at the moment is just added um, a cup of water just so that the rice doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. It's already been fried up nicely. We're just waiting for that rice to soften up a bit before I can add um, my red sauce on there, which 
my red sauce is basically the tomato paste that you see that I showed you earlier. I'll show you again. I just don't want this to stick at the bottom of the pan. So yeah, you just kind of wait until the rice is sort of um, cooked and then you add the rest of it. So see how you don't really want your rice to stick. So as you can see, it's still doing its thing. Um, okay, so you'll see here that I've added, I've added bay leaves. Oops, my bad. Um, the reason why I've added bay leaves is just to give it that extra flavor. Now you can either take them out when you begin to stuff your peppers, or you can actually um, leave them in there. It's, you know, not a big problem if you, uh, hang on a sec, Island, what is it? Really? What's wrong? Hold the camera. Hold the camera. You have to hold it this way. On the food. You can be my camera boy. Not there. There, the food. It's on. I um, grab the tomato paste that I showed you. You just take it there, Island. Just there. Put it there. There. So, guys, I just added Island here. I just added the tomato paste and um, just added a little bit of water just to make that sauce. So, just keep stirring until you've come to Mom. a thicker paste. Mom. And then this will go in the Mom. pot. And um, you can either marinate it now if you wanted to, the sauce. Or I just add a bit more water. Sometimes it's good to make fresh tomato sauce, um, tomato part um, sauce. Um, that way, it you know it's fresher with tomatoes, but everything's so dear, so this will have to work right now. So you just keep adding a bit of a, um, you know, make a mess island. Stir it, stir it. Stir it for mama, stir. Good boy, stir, keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Okay, done. Then you just put the, um, unthicken the sauce a bit with a bit of water. I've now thrown it in the pot. I know I'm doing this, it seems like um, I'm kind of rushing it a little bit. I'm not rushing it, it's just the island's just being a little bit too much. So I've got to sort of just do it sort of off camera at the same time, which I shouldn't, but um, it's just, this is basically it. That sauce you just saw me, I went straight in here in the pot. Now the rice is almost cooked, right? But I'm going to add a bit more water because it's starting to get stuck at the bottom of the pot. And the last thing we want is burnt. We don't want it to taste burnt. We want it to taste good. So once I've added the water, then I will start adding my condiments. But everything's cooked. It's just now needing to season and then let it sit for a little bit before we put it inside the peppers. So ladies and gents, I've added once again the same cup I used for the rice. I've added two cups of water to the paste, the tomato paste that I've thrown in there. So, um, you know, so basically this is going to cook nicely now and I'm going to now add the condiments or the seasoning to season the actual sauce in itself. Um, so what will happen here is the rest of the rice will suck up that juice and then we'll have a nice fluffy uh, dish ready to put inside the capsicum. I'm going to add some Italian herbs. Now, if you don't have Italian herbs in your country, okay, it's fine. You can use thyme, you can use um, uh, pimiento, or you can use uh, black, a bit of black pepper just to season it. So just a pinch, I only use a little pinch, pinch of it just to season everything, close it back up. Then my next thing I use is um, is a little bit of the paprika that we used earlier on for season the meat. Now this paprika will just a pinch again, so I would say about a teaspoon or half a teaspoon even. 
just to uh, and then give it a nice stir remember this isn't a pasta sauce so things condiments things are condimented differently I'm just looking for something <laughs> I'm trying to find it you see if I can find it I have fresh thyme, but I don't specifically want to use fresh thyme. I'd just rather keep the dry herbs to the dry herbs, if you know what I mean. Oh, trying to find it. I've got a new packet, but I thought I had another old packet. So, all good. Oh no, it is already opened. So just a bit of thyme. So as you can see, it's starting to sort of simmer in. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the pot. I'm just going to give it a stir because that time's still sitting at the top. We want every herb to sort of mingle inside. I'm going to stir it. I'm going to come back and try it in a little while. And I'm going to see if it's missing something. All right, so that's that. This is the moment of truth. Let's have a look and see how we've gone. All right, this is absolutely perfect. This is the consistency we want it. Now, the reason why we want it this consistency is because once it's in the oven and the cheese is starting to melt on top of the actual pepper, this will still be juicy. So once you cut into it, that juice will flow through that bell pepper really, really well. So guys, I'm going to start packing the bells in a little while just going to let this cool down for about 10 20 minutes before I start doing that okay so join us when I get back I've got my uh, red pepper pearls there ready then once I start stuffing them they'll go onto this baking tray and into the um, oven I made my salad which is I've managed to find some spinach island English or what do you call it spinach and my avocado it's pretty straightforward, you know, nothing much to it, um, but just a, something to go on the side with the peppers. I'm now ready to stuff my capsicum. So, just give that a dry. Here we go. All right. Ready to bring the camera a bit closer, I think, and maybe turn on the light so you guys can see this. In we go, my oven's all ready to go. Sometimes you'll have to use like a, um, a smaller spoon to get everything in there. So you gotta really stuff it well, yeah? And then you've gotta leave a bit of room at the top just for your, um, what you call it, for your cheese. So that now will sit nicely on the tray okay so we'll do the next one remember with the leaves you can either leave them in there or take them out I'm gonna take mine out okay so sometimes you've got to press it down you press it down like this okay just to give it some more room so you don't want you don't want half a capsicum half empty you know, you do want them nice and thick and full of meat. Yeah, we tend to eat really well here at home. Me and me and Babe and Island, we tend to eat really, really well here. We don't usually take out. If we do, it's probably we're traveling. Um, you know, but really, rarely we do have junk food. Um, you know, so we both tend, we love to cook and we, we both like to do food at home. Now I've got a lot left over of this, um, dish, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you can eat it without the capsicum or the pepper. So, voila. there we go guys, it's all nicely filled. Looking good, looking suave. Eh? Look 
Get that. Nice, guys. Alrighty. Alright, so with the cheese, I'm using mozzarella. But people can use tasty, whatever you like, you can use, okay? There's no right or wrong in this. And just pop it on top. Yeah, you're going to have a bit of them sort of falling on the ends here. But that's okay, just pick them back up and put them on the side there. All right, and these are all ready to go in the oven now. Just going to line them all together and pick up the rest of this cheese. So just pick up the rest of the cheese. Look, you're not going to get it all perfect, but hey, this is why we're not <laughs> we're not super master chefs. We're just cooking for the family. All right, there we go. And that's it, guys. We've done the best we could. And pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes. And then we serve up with our beautiful salad on the side. All right, guys, nice and easy. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Voila. Da -da. And there it goes, guys. All right, so guys, if you wanna see more of my cooking vids, Island Don't Touch. If you wanna see more of my cooking vids, you know, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're old, an oldie to my channel, let me know what you think. If you wanna see more, and I will show you the end product. So we're not done yet, but I'll show you the end product. All right, big up guys. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final product is just done. Now, I just wanted to say that it's soft. When it's soft, you don't want to overcook it because once ha what happens when you overcook it, it then becomes to fall apart. So you still want to keep it a whole, but everything yeah. else soft inside. Yeah. Island. Yeah. So I'm going to take it yeah. out of the oven in a little while. Yeah. Remember, I put it to yeah. 200. It was 200 that yeah. I had it on. All right, guys? Yeah. So... Yeah, we'll just let it in there for a bit more with it off and we're good. And so hubby wanted to hide from the camera. Say hi quickly. Uh, yeah, I won't. Tell the people <laughs> to go follow my yeah. channel. Yeah, subscribe Ma. to BF's channel. Huh? Get all the, all the cooking vlog, everything Ma. over this side. You see? Yeah, man. Ma. Our channel is a vibe, Ma. guys. Check it out. Let's go. Please subscribe and do everything, you know? Yeah. yeah man. Guys, so now is the final product. I've just plated it up and Ireland's making a mess, as usual. Now, this is it, guys. This is it. So, Babe will be our first taste tester. Let's go. All right, guys, so Babe's going to be my taste tester. Mm. Here's your knife and fork. Nice, love the presentation. Mm -hmm. So, I eat it with knife and fork? Uh, yeah, if you want. Either way, you can eat it either way. It doesn't matter. So, I'm, not, I'm not even sure how to cut into this one. But that's cutting it. Yep. Alright, Bobo. You don't have the top piece, huh? Yep. No, no. Huh? You don't, no, you, well, it's everything, just cut it all the way in <laughs> half. Uh, huh. <coughs> wow. Nice. You gotta eat it with the pepper, babe. Ah, the pepper. Yeah. First, I'm seeing the style looks nice. So that's jam packed full of meat and rice and all the good stuff. Mm. A bit different for you, first time. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, I've never eaten, we call it sweet pepper in Jamaica. Yeah. I've never eaten it like this. So it's very different. And I love it. I love the flavor of everything. The meat, I can taste like, is there a cheese in it? 
There's cheese, the top bit's oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the flavor. Nice. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, What's this? Um, that's cheese boccaccini. Boccaccini cheese with salad. Mm. It might be a little bit bitter because of the white wine vinegar. So the salad, guys, all I did was salt and um, olive oil a little bit. And yeah, that's it, basically. So Arlen's here making a mess, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up now. So don't forget to like the video. Um, you all, you guys know what to do. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And please subscribe if you want to see more. Comment down below. Blessings, guys. Beautiful, babe. Bye. Bye. Kiss everyone. Wow.